What is good everybody? I'm back finally. I know I'm sorry I've been slacking on the YouTube videos, but I'm back here at Carroll Park and uh, I'm filming on my GoPro today. I just wanted to try it out and see how it goes. See if it's any better than my uh, phone. But anyway, uh, it's gonna be pretty muddy out here. It just rained last night, but I figure I better try to get out here and uh, it's bright and early in the morning, 8, 8 a.m. and so see what we can do. You know what time it is. This craft raptor for the first throw of the day Try to get warmed up. I'm probably just gonna throw shots, a few shots. Not really keep track of my score today because a lot of times when I go out, uh, especially by myself, I just like to go and throw a bunch of different shots, try to improve on shots that I wouldn't normally throw. You can tell that's the first shot. Brand new Wraith. That's more like it. That's really what we're looking for on this hole. Hole two is just a pretty straight shot. Straight down, 342 feet. I'm gonna just throw that uh that wraith again and see if I can get it to flip left a little bit uh, pretty much almost slipped and fell there this time I'm just gonna throw a uh, nuke off to the left side and see and just let it ride back Not a bad shot, just short. There it is. Only I could do that on the first attempt. All right, I'm on hole four. I don't think you want to see hole three. That was a complete disaster, but we're looking at 285 feet. It's over this big shrub to the right, so you gotta put a little bit on a forehand to get it hyzer in, otherwise you're gonna be short. All right, I'm gonna go uh, Paige Pierce nuke, put it off way left and see if we can get it to come back. That you don't want at all. Gotta be honest, I'm pretty uh, embarrassed by that performance. Well, at least I got a little upshot here. Let's go! No way! After a drive like that, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Alright, uh, a little get freaky zone. Shout out Brody Smith, get freaky? What? No way. Alright, hole five is playing 351 feet. It's up and to the left, but you have to get to the tree line. Personally, I can't reach on a backhand the tree line, so what I like to do is throw a nice forehand that uh, ends right because then you actually have an opening into the basket. I was a little bit sketchy. I was playing with that left side uh, way too much. We'll see if I have a look. Somehow this uh, actually worked out really nicely. This used to play as a par four, but when they changed all the T signs and uh, basket location so you play it as a par three now but I have a open look just to kind of toss up and take my three or we could run it or lay up <laughs> I like laying up hole six is 216 feet just a little forehand really or a nice little turnover uh, putter or mid-range shot but for me <laughs> I'm going my Raptor. I usually throw my zone, but I haven't been throwing that very uh, well on this hole. So I'm going to just try to go soft Raptor and see what happens. Got, kind of got pushed down a little bit. That last one, definitely want to take the birdie on, but uh, you know stuff happens I threw a little bit too Annie and it kind of just got pushed down especially with the wind 
One thing that just has to get better, has to get better is my putting. I feel like I'm never that confident uh, around, you know, the, the 20, 25 range. And that's just the range you got to stay confident with. This next one, you really want something kind of like high, forehand hyzer. High, but you can't go like too long or too short. So it's really touchy and it's pretty far back in there. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of this hole. Hoping that's just in the opening pitch up for my three to move on. This is exactly what I was talking about. If you're too far deep, you have a lot to continue, contend with. But if you're a little bit shorter, you got an easy at least pitch up if you don't make it in, in there. Luckily, I had a little gap for the hyzer, so pretty routine. Or at least should be routine. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm on hole eight now. 225 foot par three this one uh is probably the easiest one on the whole or on the course so this is slight hyzer get it close for your birdie i'm gonna try a buzz and then i'm gonna try my malta i kind of like to switch in between them on this hole depending depending on the wind right now it's not too windy so That's perfect, it almost skipped in. That Malta was just a bad shot. I need to put it higher. I don't know what I was doing. One of these days, somebody in the group of I'm playing with is gonna ace it. Hopefully be the first ace on my YouTube channel or something. Come on. Hole nine now, 396 feet. Way down there, slightly to the right, but mainly straight. This was another one that used to play as a par four, but they changed it to a par three when they put the new tee signs in. Also, this is kind of what I was worried about with the GoPro is uh, it's like on 40% battery already and I'm only on hole nine. So it was at full charge, 100%. So that's why I might have to switch to my phone in a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to go uh, Halo Wraith. see that on camera I might be a little deep but that's pretty good all right guys I'm actually just gonna skip straight to 18 from 10 the battery on the GoPro is getting low and I don't really want to log it around if it's uh, gonna it's gonna die on me so tell me what you guys think of the drone footage is it cool or not I mean I don't know if you guys like it I'll keep adding it or keep trying to implement it into these videos try different things make it more entertaining for you guys so let me know two on 18 two off the last now I'm just gonna throw my infamous uh, Raptor Honestly, not much further than the Wraith. Gotta make this putt. A little Annie through a, to, through a tight window. Let's go. That's a good putt to end on. Alright guys, like I said, let me know if you guys enjoyed the uh, drone footage and how I can make these more entertaining for you guys. What you'd like to see, if there's any sort of video you do. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go follow Chase and Chains underscore on Instagram where I post there daily. Give you guys updates on the new videos and uh, all the good stuff. But for now, we'll see you on the next one.